the thing I, who was helping me make this big bill. The devil was messing everything up. Y'all don't talk to me up in here. But God says he know what I have need of. And when I got the big bill, I didn't have the big bill money. But my daddy somehow touched the heart of some people. And when I checked my mailbox, uh, the money for the bill was in the mailbox. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. They cut my lights off one time in my old place. And when God good, turned around, he touched the heart of a woman. And she called and said, I got some money. And the same money she brought was the money to take care of my bill, to get my life back. I wish I had somebody. Look at her neighbor and say, my father will. My father will. Supply my needs. Supply my needs. That's real, that. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He says, and your father knoweth that ye have need of what? These things. Somebody don't understand things. God knows that you have need. See, let me help some of y'all. That was a time when, when I just wanted to get some shoes and, and money was funny and change was strange. Couldn't even get a pair of shoes. I, I had to almost get hand-me-down shoes. From one hand to my hand. Y'all don't hear me. And what God was doing was making me grateful for the little things I was getting because there was some big things coming. I I wish I had somebody. That's why when somebody give you something small, you need to learn how to take it up so when they can give you something big, y'all don't hear me, because you don't know when you're missing up and messing your blessings up by stopping. I don't want to stop it. Baby, let me help you up in here. All you need is a little hole to get some water through. It'll make a flood come in after a while. And this is what God said. I know what you have need of these things. God knows that you need money. Stop acting crazy because your money get funny. Just tell God, God, you said that you supply my every need. I I need some money, daddy. I don't want to be broke. And y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I can't help but to be black, but I sure don't want to be broke. Amen. <laughs> Are y'all with me tonight? Amen. Amen. So, so, he said, your father said, and your father know that you have need of these things. He said, your father know that you have need of these things. Of what things? These things. How many of y'all been embarrassed? Amen. Oh yeah. oh yeah, I'm talking about some real embarrassment. Yeah. Baby, let me tell you something. Me and my nephew was in school. Back when we was in school, there was some shoes called Earth Walkers. Had like some jelly types uh, of bottoms. And once the sole wore down and, and you play on that asphalt, you're going to slip. Our old barn, we used to play in a circle. And they put this bowling ball pin in the middle. And they would count us all the way around. And they'd number us the same number. And there would be a number two and another number two. Uh, and then man would say two, and the number twos had to run out and get the pin. Uh, oh, I was fast to go out there and get it. Uh, but my brakes were not working because my shoes uh, wasn't no good. Uh, and I slipped all the way across to the other side of the line. Bust the back of my head, hallelujah, was embarrassed. Uh, and then I had to get up. Uh, when I got up and tried to run again, slipped right back down, skinned my knees, uh, got back up and ran. And they missed me, but I slipped down because I had to do a fake and slid all the way across on the other side. Let me help some of y'all. God let me be embarrassed, but the next year, y'all don't hear me, I was able to get me some brand new shoe, got me some Chuck Taylor Converse, uh, and I wasn't sticking <laughs> no more. Why? Because God said, he shall supply my every need. I was a child saying, God, if you there, you know, I need you to put me some more shoe on my feet, because these things slipping. Amen. 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 <laughs> Got to move the embarrassment. Man. Yeah, I was embarrassed as a child. Sliding all across that asphalt, busting my head. <laughs> Children laughing at me. I was already crazy because I had been bust my head. You know, they thought Young was crazy already. Look at Gary. He crazy. He busting his head out on the floor. <laughs> Didn't know in my shoes. <laughs> then my big toe, my right foot was getting scratched up when they started coming out to shoot. Y'all don't hear me up in here. <laughs> Somebody say embarrassing time. God moved me from the embarrassing time because the Bible said, Your father knoweth what you have need of. Amen. He know the things I had need of. And see, that's why uh, Deacon Fields, I had to keep on going because I knew after a while God was going to do it. Y'all don't hear what I'm Amen. saying. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. He says, and your father knowing that you have need of what? These things. God knows you have need of these things. How many of y'all ever had to go to somebody else's house just to watch TV? Jesus. 
because your TV wasn't working. Oh, now let me hear some of y'all. Some of y'all that ain't got cable and, and some other stuff, you sure ain't gonna have no TV. And if you ain't got that converter box, you sure ain't gonna see nothing. You gonna have a scramble. <laughs> so therefore, God says he know what you have need of. And what I got to come into the place is to understand that that was a time while we didn't even have a TV. I wish I had somebody. We didn't even have a TV. Uh, and, and we had to listen to the radio. Oh, I y'all don't want to talk to me. And I thank God that God knew what we had need of. Uh, see, it was it was, uh, it was was TVs in our neighbor's house, but it wasn't no TV in our house. And when God began to put a TV in our house, we began to look at it and thank God. Uh, glory to God. It may be one color. It was black and white. That was good enough. As long as I saw Popeye the Sailor Man oh, whoa, and do what he had to do, that's all I care about because God knew what I had need of. Uh, every day, me and my nephew made it home. Uh, we eat peanut butter, serve sandwich, and jelly. Y'all don't hear me. Uh, and we watch Popeye uh, get us a whooping for eating a sandwich. Y'all don't hear me. Uh, that's why I don't eat it no more. But when push came to serve, uh, God knew I had need of a TV. Uh, and God let my mama get one. Uh, and I was so thankful that we had a TV. Uh, I didn't want to just listen to nobody's radio. I wanted a TV. They didn't have them first color. They had them black and white. Y'all don't hear me up in here. Amen. 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 Yeah. Back in my day, they first came out and it was a black and white TV. Ugly TVs that you had to turn. And then you break the knob, then you had to stick pair of grip lines on there. And then you had to adjust that that that, uh, that antenna that you had fall on the top with your clothes with your clothes and why clothes hanging. You see it? See it? Yeah, right there, and you let it go. Now baby, hold it for a minute. And you had to hold it, you couldn't see it. Y'all don't talk to me up in here. God know what we had need. Man. <laughs> yeah, they had that aluminum fall at the top of that Amen. antenna. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. How many of y'all blessed in here? Amen. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible says, and your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. The Bible says, your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. How many of y'all remember back in the days when you came out one door? But you had that shotgun house where you can look straight through the back door. Oh, oh see, God knew that. See, I used to live in a shotgun house. If somebody was chasing you, you can just hit your front door and go straight out the back door. Y'all don't hear me? Just if you could, get your glasses, Deke, uh, Elder. You would just chunk a chair to kind of trip them up because it was a straight run. And if they was passing you, they were going to catch you before you got to your back door. And your back door line up in a lot. God knows what you have need of. And that's why I'm so thankful that God took away the shotgun house. I wish I had somebody. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. <laughs> yeah. We had the shotgun house. So I'm Amen. trying to tell you, God knows what you have need of. Amen. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. See, the Bible says your father know it. That you have need of these things. So therefore, there's some stuff that you have need of that you don't have to keep on praying for God. Just start thanking Him after you've been praying. Because when you start thanking Him, that's letting God know that God, I know that Your Word says that You know what I have need of. Lord God, I may need a little more money. Lord God, I may need a little bit more help. Lord God, I may need You to do something for me. Lord God, me and my family is suffering. God give us a new car. I never forget when me and my family we had that old raggly car. And that car that we had was raggly. That car was so raggly it rings. Uh, ring, ring, ring. Uh, you thought somebody was calling you on the telephone. Uh, it was so raggly. I was sick of that car. It smoked all the time. Uh, and my wife would have the audacity to drive that ringing car, uh, car up to the front of churches. Uh, I didn't preach so hard in the church. Uh, and they thought I was going out there getting in the Bentley. Didn't know I was getting in something that was spelled like a litly. Uh, that it was going to let me down anytime. Y'all hear me up in here. I mean, I had some nice looking wheels on it, uh, but baby, they had Miss Mac ties. Y'all don't hear me? Uh, and I was sick and tired of that thing. I had switches for everything. Switch to crank it up. Uh, switch to make the air condition work. But God knew I had need of. Uh, and God began to bless me. Uh, and when he gave me a little Taurus, uh, I parked in in the front of everybody's church. Uh, I was so happy. Uh, oh, me and that Taurus was clean. Uh, it was a white for a Taurus uh, with tan interior. But God knew what I had need of. So I put that car down and told God I'm parking this junk on the side of the house. And in the morning, it's going to the junkyard. And tonight, I need
need you uh, to bless me, God. And God let me go preach at a service. Uh, and a man said to me, uh, he says, Apostle Young, uh, you ain't never got to be broke. Uh, and God gonna make it where you never be broke. Go buy you a car, man, uh, because you need something to drive better than what you're driving. And we will.